Hi everyone! So I'm back to share a pro uh, mini album that I'll be making for Auntie Rira Scrap and Craft. This is using the I Love My Cat Echo Park paper. So um, I'm starting with this sheet. This is uh, the 3x4 journaling cards. And I'll be cutting them like that. Cut this little extra piece off first. So now I've got them divided. And then I'm going to score them. So just on the lines. So at three, six, and nine. Do that with all three of them. Three, six, nine. All right, so then you fold each one like this, in, out, and in. We're gonna do that with all three of them. Alright, so I've scored all of them and they all make a W or an M shape. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to start sticking them. Now I'm this is going to be my first page. So I want to make a pocket up here. So what I'll be doing is I'll be gluing here at the bottom and at the back. And then stick it. So you've got your pocket that opens at the top. This is still your first page. Next, you join it to the next one that you're going to use. I shall use this one. And I want to make a pocket that opens on the side here. So I, I will be gluing the top, the back and the bottom for this one. Glue them together, make sure it lines up. So we've got an opening here. So top, side, I haven't lined it up properly. There we go. 
and so the next one again would be a top and then a side and then a top and you leave this one because that's the back so I'll just do this off camera and come back okay so this is the album once all the gluing is done this is the first page so we've got a pocket here a pocket here pocket here another one here and here hmm. I seem to have made a mistake there but that's okay and that's the back okay I'll fix that middle pocket so basically it's just alternating top and center pockets now, for the cover and the back, I've cut two pieces of cardstock. Now, they measure three and a quarter into four and a quarter inches. So, they're going to go on the top here and here. All right. And um, to cover these, I've chosen from the six by six paper pad. these two papers so this will go on the front and this will go on the back I'm just gonna cut them down a little bit so I just need about that much to cover it and I'll cover it and come back all right so now I've got the front cover and the back cover and before I stick that down there I need to choose a ribbon to go around I think I'll just go with the thinner one Use that one. It's about that much. Just gonna use my glue here. Well, let me make your closure. And then we're just going to stick the covers on. Just center that. Make sure the back cover lines up with the front. We have a little mini album ready. So now all that's left to do is decorate it. And I will do that off camera and I will just show you a quick uh, flip through once it is ready. 
Okay, so I'm back with the completed mini album. Um, to complete the cover, I've used the pocket full of posies charms. So I put four in on the corners. And this is from the uh, Echo Park frames and tags pack. So I have also the paws and the cat. I've used my glitter pen to go over that. My different colored glitter pens. So the orange and the red. Let's open this up. So I've uh, used my border punch and a scrap piece of paper for that. And also use my glitter pen on the hair U. That this is also a tuck spot. Oh, he, this is from the frames and tags pack. And this is from the 6x6 pad, and this is the coordinating paper. So I've stuck this onto that to make a little journaling spot. Or you can stick your photos here, whatever you'd like. This is the first pocket, and it opens up. So this is also from the frames and tags pack. On this one, I've made some photo corners using the spare papers. So you can stick your photos in and this one has just a little strip of washi here this pocket opens sideways so this is also from the frames and tags pack on the next page i've made this little tuck spot i've cut this out with my doily die This is another 6x6 six six card and stuck on coordinating paper pack. Here is another uh, photo corners that are made with some of the off cuts. And this again is a top pocket, so I have this tag. This is from the tags and frames pack. And I've just used my so easy twine and I've tied this on the top. I've left this pocket pretty much, this page pretty much as is. I have gone over the pole with my glitter pen. And this I have uh, stamped onto the yellow paper. This is using the uh, <coughs> Echo Park I Love My Cat stamps. So I've stamped that on, fussy cut it, and raised it. This is again a side tuck I've made and another 6x6. Six six. Uh, another card from the 6x6 six six papers. So this one is a side pocket. So that's from the frames and tags pack again. Here I made some more tucks. This is from the frames and tags pack and another set of photo corners. This is again a top pocket, another tag, and I've put the twine there. And this is the last one. Another six by six, uh, another card from the six by six pack. And this is also a tuck, if you would like to put something. And I have also used the glitter pen on that little heart. And I, this I have cut from one of the papers. And uh, I've cut the head and this part again and stuck it on to make a 3D effect. So that's about it. my completed mini album thank you for watching and i'll see you again soon with my next project do check out my facebook page it's called paper love as well and um, because i don't always make a video of all my projects you can see everything i make on there and uh, you're free to contact me if you would like to purchase any of my projects thank you for watching bye